go, boys. The first for the Pisces. Riding down to the beautiful frozen lake. California. Look at this little spine right here. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. graph there hard to see on the plotter when these things never show up right but Walmart. yeah this on uh oh come on all right come on nice First keeper kokanee. Right out here doing a little kokanee fishing, see if we get some luck. The thing that's great about kokanee fishing is these are such great eating fish. Yeah, he was. Definitely a better kokanee. Look at that. California kokanee. All right, California kokanee, pretty fish. on the electronic, the rod tip started getting pumped. Ooh, good bite. Good feisty fish. Well, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. Angry. Nice kokanee. Wow, real good one. All right, that sums it up for me for the day. More nice kokanee. Can't wait to cook these up. It's gonna be awesome table fare. And that's why we do it, guys. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Blake Marshall. Back in the lab with Chef Nick. Yeah, boy. Yeah, hanging out, cooking it up. We got some uh, kokanee we're gonna be cooking up today. Doing some kokanee cakes. Started a little Puerto Rican rice over there. A little fresh sofrito going in here. A mix of garlic, herbs, peppers, onions. Make big batches of it and freeze it. It's super tasty. Kind of like a little bouillabaisse, Puerto Rican bouillabaisse. Just add some umami to your food. They use it in a lot of stuff. We'll put some in our pacalaitos. It's not going to be necessary, but 
playing in a chef's kitchen, so you know. Gotta flare it up a little bit. So we're just making a little Puerto Rican rice. This is Sasson right here. I just dumped a little bit of that in there to get that nice orange color. That's how the Puerto Ricans get it orange. You know, Mexicans, they use tomato. Spaniards, they use saffron. Puerto Ricans, they use sazon. It's made from a natto seed. A little adobo, too. It's pretty, pretty clutch for this. This is going to go into our bacalaitos as well. So this is like their seasoning salt. We're basically using it as salt. This rice just has a little bit of long grain rice. We put a bell pepper in there. We put an onion, some garlic. And then fire her up. Smells so good. Ooh. A little oregano. We're gonna put some fresh oregano in our recipe here as well. We're gonna do a little fresh cilantro. You can check out these ingredients right here. We're gonna make it a little non-traditional, a little Americanized. Put some yellow corn in there, cilantro, parsley, oregano, bell pepper, garlic. It's gonna be delicious. I'm so stoked. A little oregano in here too, nothing crazy. Throw a little capers in there. You close the lid on that. In the, capers in the rice? Yeah. Fire, bro. And olives. Yeah. A little capers Green in olives? the rice. Yep. These Puerto Rican tomato olives. Spanish olives. We'll throw some beans on top after the end too. Give it one last stir and then don't touch it again. Now I'm making this in the pressure cooker. It's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. Long grain rice, three minutes, 10 minute high pressure. Re release, so yeah, you'll see. <laughs> pressure cook, three minutes. Boom, set it and forget it, let's move on. Flame on. So we're gonna fry these, kind of like a little deep fry, kind of like a little fish fish fry style. A little veggie oil right here, nothing crazy. And what it is is we're making this little batter, similar to like a pancake batter. You get this oil nice and hot, and you spoonful the fish cake in the batter, and you just let it fry naturally, exactly how it's gonna go. A little like almost looking like a fried egg. And the outcome's gonna be a crispy outside, soft inside. Exactly, exactly. Some nice fish in there. Hopefully really showcase the fish. Yeah. Let me put a little jalapeno in there because I know how you like it spicy. Oh, so we're chopping right through these little tin bones. Coconut is super soft, the bones are super small. For this preparation, they're not gonna be an issue whatsoever. I'm not even gonna know they're there. It's gonna be nice, fried, crispy. No big deal. Kinda like eating a smelt, you know what I mean? Just dicing it up, just like in a little onion. Kinda keeping a little bit of size, so we see it. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Here's our fish. Diced up. Throw a little adobo on there. Throw a little bit of garlic on there. It's pretty much all in this adobo. This will be fine. I'm just being extra because I be extra like that. A little onion, some sofrito. Again, not needed, but we extra. Garlic, pepper, cilantro, that's what's in here. It's just gonna add a little more authentic Puerto Rican flavor. Some cilantro, yep, cilantro. Just a nice little chop on that cilantro. Some oregano, you could use dry, they prefer dry. I like fresh herbs. We're gonna throw some green onion in there. And this is gonna be the basic recipe. We're gonna add the corn, we're gonna add the peppers on like a little side bit. But right now, this is the basic recipe. What did you just put in there? So that was just some flour. Okay. Here's some baking soda. This is all like the, the right baking, amounts. Baking powder. Baking powder, one tablespoon. And this is uh, one and three quarters cup of flour. We're basically dredging it like you would dredge a fish. We're mixing it up. We're gonna add a little water to bring it into some kind of batter form. But for now, we're just doing this to 
get all that seasoning, all that flavor on the fish before we water it down. And help it find a little black pepper. Here, this is the one that we'll add some corn to, right here. We'll split the batch, see how it comes out. We'll keep some of these like Trigger. traditional. Yeah, fritters yeah. two ways. Yep, we got some jalapeno, some red bell pepper, some corn. Corn fritters are pretty big in the south. We'll do a little bit of parsley. We'll do garlic, we'll do garlic on both. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. A little garlic in there. A little oregano in there, a little cilantro in there. I'm liking that. I'm liking the look of that. Real American like. A little bit of water. Let's start in here. Start in here. Now we kind of just want it like that. You see how it's getting sticky, like the flower's getting weird. You just want it batter like, but still sticky because we're just spooning these up dropping them right into the oil and it's making us our fritter. The baking powder and the flour is what's gonna help Mike. make it a little cake, you know what I mean? That's perfect right there, that's pretty perfect right there. All right, we'll give it a little spoon in there. Give it a little quick taste on the fry. Also test our oil that way. You don't have to make like a full size one for the first one, you know what I'm mean? saying? Let's bring it over here to the stove. Talking about how a little bit goes a long way on these cokes. Look at how many fritters that's gonna be. That is a ton of fritter right there. And we just had four little fish, you know? So, you know, if you don't have a good day out there and you only came back with a couple fish and you wanna make something still, something special for the wife and kids, what you do here, that's much better. See how my batter is just a little bit there? Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, flatten them out more. Yeah, flatten them out, that's what we're looking for. Look at those. That's a nice piece. size, too. Like yeah. Two of those, three of those on your plate, you Absolutely. just eat a big fish. And there's a lot more to go. Honestly, I feel like we could probably feed a solid eight to 10 of us on these. I gotta assume this is gonna be an ideal recipe for guys fit that fish bowlers bar a lot. You know, you're getting those smaller fillets chop them up, make kokanee cakes out of them. Puerto Rican style, guys. Look at these guys. Oh, so good. And we have a ton of food. And you can't stop this munching, dude. Mmm. Still out here frying. Still, still out here of this frying. Stuff. Still out here frying, frying. We've got so much frying that we crying. It's amazing, bud. Yeah. That much, plus a whole huge plate, this is enough to feed an army. Mm -hmm. Time to go feed the fam. That's what we do. Who's man? You don't even get to eat Puerto Rican. Who cooks Puerto Rican food? You literally gotta go to Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto Ricans. Food. Cook Puerto, Puerto Ricans. Ricans True. Yeah. True. Like and subscribe, Puerto Ricans. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat.